basketball fan man we talking this your boy step back kid mikey in the flesh another day another dollar loss new brooklyn nets once again take another loss back to back should we be worried right now in my realistic form in my statistical form i'm gonna say no right it's fresh these guys are just getting together they're just trying to gel but when i look at their roster the Brooklyn Nets are in need of some help. I went over a video the other day on the help I think they could get. I'm going to strictly focus on detail with the Nets on what I think they can go get. But let's get up to their, to their current point. Tonight, <coughs> Kevin Durant was out. So it was Harden with Irving trying to make some business happen. Actually played well together offensively. Looked very strong. Um, but there's one caveat. There's one problem I see. Irving Harden are not P.J. Tucker. Irving Harden are not Torian Prince or Mr. Allen, the guy they just traded away. Irving and Harden are probably some of the worst defenders in the NBA, in my opinion. And, And now it's showing that scoring doesn't always help you if you can't play defense back. So let's get into it. The three scores, Durant, Harden, and Irving together will be magnificent. But then you go to a bench that features Joe Harris and Spencer Dinwiddie, who I know is injured, (coughs) but potentially could come back this year from what they say. And all you have is an older anchor in DeAndre Jordan. His legs are shot. Okay, It's not the same DeAndre Jordan that we knew from the Clippers. Landry Shamit's there, another offensive threat, but defensively, I'm worried. Jeff Green can probably do it all, probably the closest to it. He should be <coughs> flowing into the lineup, but he's at the small forward position. So right now, all you got is Jordan up there at the center position, power forward position. I know Jeff Green plays it sometimes, but realistically, he's not a double-double guy, in my opinion. He's had his chance in his career, but, you know, he's just a, a smooth score, a good rebounder. I'm not going to say he's not going to get 7 or 8, but 10 and 10, that's not what we're going to see <coughs> from Jeff Green. And you need that guy with that capability. Tyler Johnson's there for the guard position. He could play the role of, I would say, defensive guard when he gets back. Timoth Ka- Louis Cabarro, uh, the Ricky from France, doing his thing. I don't know what he is at this point, but I know he has a nice three-point shot. Bruce Brown's probably your closest chance at finding a guy that could potentially play that defensive role for this team, that, that 3 and D defense. But there's two rookies that they're not playing. I believe Dick Claxton is on his way to come back. I'm excited for him because he can do it all. And then you got Reggie Perry, who's more of a scorer from a power forward position. Again, don't sleep on those two, uh, but they're not really defensive threats, except maybe Claxton, more so than Reggie per- Perry, who's an offensive animal inside. Okay, And he can also shoot from three. <coughs> Call me a stretch four. So now, what do we do with all this crap, man? I just went over this thing. Like, man, what you trying to get to? get to the point, boy? I'm going to get to the point real quick, man. Look at the free agents that are available. I talked about it the other day, and I said there's a couple positions where I think they need to fill. Small forward, power forward, and center. I think those are the key positions that they need to fill out. When I look at the centers available, right, you can see the list right here. Sky LaBCA is somebody that's interested. So, Don Maker is also available. That's another guy that I, I would say would be interested in. And those three, just to give them, you know, a shot, a shot would be the guys I would focus in on from a defensive perspective. Don Baker's long, not really that much of a leaper, but he's there. Alex Lenz, another guy, tall, seven foot, can stretch the floor a little bit. And Skyler BCA, I think, is probably the best defender of that group. And it's sitting somewhere. And potentially could help out. You got an old Tyson Chandler there as well. Not sure how he'll play the role. One thing I didn't like, <coughs> like what I saw today was Norvell Pelé possibly picked up by this team. That I don't like, all right? I don't like that pickup. Now, if you decide to go a little bit smaller, you don't want a big, big. There's Dwayne Denman, who has been linked strongly with this team. But what about Jordan Bell? Six time, 224, could potentially be a poor man's Dennis Rodman. I'm not sure why they're not thinking about Jordan Bell as a potential landing spot for the Brooklyn Nets. Continuing down, if you want a runner, there's Czech Diallo. But then you got Henry Ellison, a guy that really never got the opportunity. 
I'm telling you, the guy has a great all-around game. He's solid. Think of a poor man's Nikolai Jokic. I think of Henry Ellison if they wanted to go that route, but they already have Perry, who's similar, another scorer, but obviously Ellison's more polished because he's been in the league longer. Other than that, um, you know, Irsen Elisiova, 33 years old, stretched the floor. Mill Jefferson's there as well. John Motley, 6'10", made his way around the league. Interesting. I don't like the Pele play. He's There he is. They're talking about signing this kid. I talked about Omari Spellman as a potential guy. Not really a block shot blocker. Chronic of a rich man's Reggie Perry. You know, more more experienced Reggie Perry. And then you got, you know, a guy used to be part of that team, Wilson Chandler. And then uh, Marvin Williams was also potentially available. So, in those realms, it's kind of scary for him. There's really nothing really sticking out. A big, pure defender with no offense is Kenny Wooten, 6'8". Tremendous top shot blocker, great link span, wingspan for himself. But other than that, really not much to touch on from the center position of power forward. They may have to make a trade and figure out where they can get somebody. Um, Andre Drummond, and they're going to have to move. Allen or Drummond would be nice to see him try and see what they can get. Uh, they try to squ- scrab away Andre Drummond, who is probably the missing link for the squad. Guard position, I think they're pretty much set. Uh, only guys I would say at the small forward position is somebody that can shoot the ball. I like Gerald Green. I like Kyle Corver. Those are guys that I know. But I'm sure there's other players out there that can fit the ball. And again, the purpose of my video is just to give you through my prop thought process. Um, and also... I, I do like, I really don't no, I'm not going to go there. I, I do like Justin Anderson. I don't know, something about him, uh, big, strong body. I think he can potentially be a, a more athletic TJ, to PJ Tucker. And then, obviously, Chris, the, the, the man I want to connect you with, obviously, is this house guy. Right? The house guy is what I'm saying is the guy that can do all things. And there's a couple guys. Let's keep going down. You know what I'm looking for. I'm one of the ones. I'm going to hook you up, guys, man. I'm going to talk about it. Give me a second. Where Mike Beasley at, man? Where where Mike Beasley at, bro? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. The do-it-all, purposeful, small forward, power forward, and Mike Beasley. I look like he's not showing up here. So I'm going to go to my other list on my my top contenders for free agency. (laughs) Well, there goes one. Mike Beasley is definitely on his list, right? Where is Mike Beasley? How does he fit in? How could he help this team? Definitely somebody I would <coughs> approach and look for in on this on this opportunity to pick up three players. Okay, even with Dwayne Denman on top, I like I like to play there. All right, and then you keep going down. You got Noah Vonley. Noah Vonley is available. Why not grab him? All right, from the guard position. From the guard position. All right. There was Noah right there, 25 years old. I talked about Mike Beasley, Noah Vale. There goes your two. You need a third person now. Do you want another scorer? Somebody that can create for yourself for themselves? <clears throat> I would say no. I would say I would not go for, you know, another score type because I think there's too many hands in that pocket. But as you know, they've done similar type of things. And again, if they could pry away a, a Gerald Green or one of those type of players to join that team. And get some minutes for him. It would be pretty exciting to see what damage they do straight up. So I really appreciate the time and the opportunity for these guys. Now it's all about turning the oven on and seeing what they can truly get for them, and if this could really make if they could, if we can really make this happen for the Brooklyn Nets. But there's certainly some talent out there, man. There's certainly some guys that could go get. Not showing up here for some reason, but. Beasley, Vonley, Green, Gerald Green. Again, they can load up on athleticism and they can load up on some support on D so we won't have this many headaches. So I I really want to thank the time for you guys, man. The, you know, 10 subscribers, I appreciate you joining. Pass the channel around, let them know. I'm the guru. I'm the step back kid. It's Mikey. I'm signing off here. Peace.